Hey, what's going on, guys? Host Man here, bringing you guys today top five most wanted assault rifles in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And some of this is personal preference, and some of this is based upon like what I have seen in the community and you know on Twitter and stuff like that, and like other videos and comments and stuff like that, where I've just been nosy and had a look at stuff. Uh, I've got this video idea from DPJ, so I thought I'd put it in my own ways and what I'd like to see from Advanced Warfare. And from my knowledge of gaming and Call of Duty and some of the people who I play with, you know, I got a few of their wording and from what I'd say, I can guarantee you that the majority of people who are going to watch this video will agree on literally every gun that I say upon this. And remember, this is the assault rifles only, but at the same time, Advanced Warfare is based in the future, so maybe some of these guns never ever existed or exist and obviously some of them are from different franchises obviously Advanced Warfare is made by Sledgehammer and I've got some stuff in here from you know Infinity Ward, uh, Activision, like World of War games and stuff like that but this is in no particular order either this is just what I'd love to see and what you guys I can guarantee you'd love to see starting off with the Sky H from Modern Warfare 2 that gun is literally unbelievable in Modern Warfare 2 even if you've just ran no attachments on it or like no literally no attachments on it but I'd say the best perk um, sorry best attachments for that gun from Modern Warfare 2 was either silencer and extended mags or just extended mags on its own because obviously you waste a perk and that would be bling from Modern Warfare 2 you've wasted a perk there and I would rarely ever use two perks two attachments on my gun uh, but main attachment I'd always use would be a silencer and you guys know I always use silencers on my guns from Call of Duty Ghosts that is and obviously when I play core and obviously when I play Black Ops 2 I use an unsilenced gun but yeah Sky H from Modern Warfare 2 that gun speaks for itself that gun's a tank it just destroys people and the AN94 from Black Ops 2 that's the second gun I choose you know number two that gun speaks for itself as well from Black Ops 2 that gun's amazing in core with a silencer in hardcore as well obviously the stock perk on that gun helps you a lot in um, Black Ops 2 but obviously that gun is just overpowered to hell like long range and mid range and sometimes close up as well it can be really powerful but obviously Black Ops 2 you know hit detection wasn't always that perfect and stuff but my eyes the AN94 would be an unbelievable gun to see in the game from Call of Duty Ghosts we've got the Honey Badger obviously that gun again speaks for itself it has a built in silencer so then again you can put two attachments onto your gun which would probably be what everyone's favourite from Ghost would be extended mags and grip or I've seen a, a fan favourite which is noob tubes and um, grip yeah you're a faggot if you use that class setup by the way but the Honey Badger is an unbelievable gun you know it works on any map like myself, I use different guns on different maps and I use different perk setups on different maps. I use different perks with different guns and stuff like that. And depending on what lobby I come against, I'd rather use a scar, sorry, and honey badger with maybe a foregrip and a red dot or a red dot and maybe just a, just a red dot and that's it. I don't know why I'm weird like that. But that's number three. Number four will be an STG from World at War. That gun was amazing. You just don't understand. If you've never played World at War, you don't come from like the Call of Duty era that I come from. The STG from World of War was the only automatic assault rifle in that game, unless you had a modded M4A1 carbine, which I did and a lot of people did in World of War. But STG was an amazing gun. I'd love to see that in Advanced Warfare, even though it's an old gun. Maybe, you know, down the lines of the campaign, you go into a room or something like that, you see a box, it's got World of War in the front, or something to do with World of War, maybe, or something uh, to do with maybe a war from back in the past, like olden day times, not olden day times, but you know, like Modern War. Modern Warfare 2, World at War times and stuff like that. Maybe an STG pops out, that'd be amazing to see. And last but not least, I know everyone can, everyone on this planet who's ever played Call of Duty and played Black Ops 1 will agree with this gun. Most people would say that it was the AK 47 or the Galil, but my eyes, it was the Famous from Black Ops 1. That gun was amazing. There was no Stalker back then, so gun skill was pure. It was amazing. I, I love playing without Stalker in Black Ops 1. I just used to love it. It's so much better than it is with Stalker. Um, obviously, that's where I've learned how to play Call of Duty is playing without Stalker. And the Famas, that would be like the second favourite gun of all time for me. My favourite gun of all time, if you've ever played World of War, is the MP40. But yeah, guys, that's my top five guns I'd love to see in the game. And I know you guys would probably see like to see it as well. And I know you'd agree with it upon, with me. Also, the guys, the gameplay in the background is from Jedi. I'd really appreciate if we went over to his channel and checked him out and dropped a subscribe onto his channel. Anyways, guys, peace out and take care.